What up, C-Squad? It's your girl Caprice, and I am back again with another video. And today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look that I am rocking right here. I got in I got inspired by this gold cardigan, this velvet gold cardigan that I got from Rue 21. And it's just been hanging up, and I just walked past and I'm like. I need to film a gold look like a gold look would look so bomb like I'm feeling real real like sexy in this like uh, I usually don't wear gold like necklaces and gold uh, jewelry too much just because I just I don't know I don't like it on my skin but I'm definitely starting to like it I'm more of a silver girl but I am definitely starting to like the gold on me so that's what inspired this gold look and I think I'm gonna name it like dripping in gold or something like that but anyway if you are new and this is your first time watching me a welcome I am Caprice and if you guys are subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell next to it and that's gonna get you guys a uh, notifications on whenever I post videos make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys over in the tutorial part what up C squad we're going in with the 3502 morphe palette and I'm going to take the shade brick on my e23 brush and I'm just going to use this as one of the first and many transition shades going right back into that palette I'm going to take this orange shade and it's called heat and I'm using it on the same brush and I'm just going to put it right on top of that I want it to be super super warm um, I usually like my transition area kind of warm so I'm just taking that on top of there and then just blending it out with that same Morphe E23 and now I'm going to take the M what is it the Morphe 35R and I'm just going to take it on my um, M4 Three, three brush from Morphe and I'm just going to put this on the inner and outer corners this is going to start the spotlight eye so you want it darker um, on the outer and inner portions of the eye I'm now taking the shade Wiz, which is this black. I'm going to use this to add a little depth into the look, um, smoke it out a little bit because like I said, I want this look to be super, super smoky. So by adding that black, I really, really think that it did the job. And I am using my E18 from Morphe. I love this little pencil brush. Like it blends super, super good. And now it's time to cut that spot eye. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Medium Tawny. And I'm just going to use that on my M421 brush just to go ahead and cut the crease. This is just a flat like concealer brush. And I love it because it's super rounded and it helps me like outline, you know, my cut creases really well. So as you guys can see here, I'm just filling it in. I'm just outlining where I want the cut to be and then going ahead and blending that out with the brush. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the shade Pure, y'all. This gold is so pigmented, it's ridiculous. And as you guys can see here, I'm going to go in with my finger. I did use a brush and I just used like the Anastasia double-sided, but it wasn't picking it up enough product for me. I just, so I just went in and dabbed it on with my hand and then I went to um, a little like definer like crease brush um, to go up to the part that's close by the uh, cut crease so I did add my lashes I used the salon perfect um, 614s and I stacked those now you guys see me going in with my primer I wanted this look to be super super dewy so I went in with the Becca um, backlighting filter primer I haven't used this primer in a long time y'all like I love this primer and I love the way that it gives me that glow so for foundation I don't know why 
I didn't show it but I used the Milani Perfect Conceal and Perfect in 11 Nutmeg and I also added in some Topaz uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca that I didn't show and that's why it looks a little bit dark but um, it is going to go blend out. And now you guys see me doing my concealer. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Dark Cocoa and Medium Tawny. And I'm just mixing these together. Y'all know I love my under eyes and my concealer to be bomb and bright AF. So I'm just mixing these two together. And I'm going to take a sip. Got to get a sip of my Pepsi. And then I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and blend this out. Now after I put all that on there, I got to set. So I'm going to take my CoverGirl Medium Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to use this to set all the places that I conceal. Y'all, if I ain't talked about this powder enough, this powder is good. Finally milled. So now I'm just going to go in with my Black Radiant Soft Focus in the shade, what is it, Milk Chocolate. And at first I thought it was going to be a little bit too dark, but it ended up being just right. So I'm just going to use this on my Real Techniques brush and just use this to set my the rest of my face. Now going in with my crusty Dusty Bronzer, y'all. I need to try a new bronzer. List down in the comment section some new bronzers that will go good with my skin tone. I love this CoverGirl one, but I know where this out. I want to try some new ones. So just go ahead and list some of you guys' favorite bronzers down below. And I can definitely pick some of those up and try those. So now um, I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics Blush Kit. And I'm going to use this peachy color. Y'all know if y'all been watching my videos, this has been my shade. Like, this has been my shade. Um, I've been loving it. And I've really been enjoying wearing blush lately so i'm just going to go ahead and cut those uh contour you know crease crease <laughs> go ahead and define that now i'm just going to take my laura garla i was super happy to use this again this is an og og highlighter and i'm just going to use this to just highlight the high points of my face you know my cheekbones um cupid's bow nose you know stuff like that And now going back to the eyes, I'm just going to take this black liner from L'Oreal and I'm just going to use this because I want the look to be super, super smoky and that's exactly what it gave to me. So I'm just using this to smoke out the lower lash line. And now I'm just going to smoke out the lash line even further. I'm going to go in with all the shades that I use on the top. I'm going to apply them from the bottom. So all those shades that I used out of the Morphe 3502 palette and the Morphe 35R, I'm just going to go in back in that order on this Luxie brush and just smoke out the lash line. And now time for mascara. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and I am just going to just coat my lashes um, really evenly and make sure I blend my real lashes in with the falsies. Now time for the lips. I'm going to take my Tarte, um, what is these, uh, Tarte Paint Lip Paints in the shade Grunge and I'm just going to use this one. I really, really love this. If I was a lipstick, like this is the shade. I definitely will be and then off to finish off the look I'm going to go ahead with my elf illuminating spray and set the face this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video make sure you hit that bell and I'll see you guys in my next video